Okay, so what is your perception of what it's actually like to live in Utah? In this video, I'm actually going to address the perceptions that most people have when choosing to make the move to living in Utah versus the reality. Because we all know that things oftentimes aren't what and how we expect them to be. And I can definitely speak to that as a Utah native and someone who actively helps people relocate and make that move to Utah each and every single day. And it's my passion to help you discover all things Utah, but especially Utah real estate and find out how to make this a perfect home for you as well. So in this video, I'm going to cover all of the misconceptions as well as the reality of what it's actually like to move here and help you capture that vision of what you can expect when you make that visit or you make that move because it is my goal to make that experience as exceptional as possible for you. So with that said, let's roll. All right, so what are the misconceptions that people have around moving to or living in Utah? Oftentimes people have all sorts of crazy ideas, but there are certainly a few things that really rise to the top that many people or most people have in terms of what they perceived reality to be when living in Utah. Now there's probably an endless list of these things, but I'm gonna name just the top few. Some people really are concerned about their perception of what the social environment is here in Utah, because we all know that Utah is just a little bit different and the culture, especially especially around the predominant faith of the LDS church might really influence what you think in terms of perception as to moving to Utah. But there are other factors as well. It's the landscape. Oftentimes people see pictures of Utah or videos and they think that Utah is just a desert and it's not the case. There's so much diversity in the geography here as well as the landscapes. There's so much to realize here that you did not expect. And I'm gonna open your eyes in this video to kind of hopefully help paint a picture of what Utah really is in terms of what people have experienced after they've made the move here and lived here for a couple of years. And the third thing that oftentimes people misperceive is the reality of the climate here. The climate in Utah, sometimes people think it's just snow all the time, you're buried in it. And honestly, that's just not the case. In fact, Utah doesn't impact your life if you live along the Wasatch Front most of the time. It's actually just a few days per year that you might be impacted by that snow. But if you're moving from a place where it doesn't snow, like Florida or Texas, or California, those are certainly things worth considering because the weather is a big deal, right? We all wanna make sure that our lifestyle aligns with where we live and how that climate impacts us is obviously paramount. Now, in addition to those things, people oftentimes will look up things about Utah and they'll understand a few things about Utah in terms of what are the major attractions here? Why do people come to visit Utah? And they think of the five national parks. Or they might think of Temple Square, which is the top tourist destination here in Utah. Or they might think of the world-class skiing that takes place here, the ski resorts, the snowboarding, and other winter sports that you can really take advantage of in a world-class setting here in Utah. But in reality, Utah is so much more than just the few things that I've mentioned here. It's more than just five national parks. It's more than just Park City or even the other ski resorts that are so incredibly popular. And it's definitely so much more than just Temple Square. So if you're looking to move to Utah, the strength of Utah is not just one place or one particular attraction. It's not Salt Lake City. It's not Zion National Park. It's the collective of what Utah offers in terms of lifestyle as well as how that lifestyle impacts everybody who lives here. I think collectively as Utahns, we see the value of Utah as a whole. And that's why we most of the time identify as somebody who's from Utah and not just from a particular city. It's really the Utah thing is real here. And so Utah has so much more to offer than just those things that I've mentioned so far. And with that said, if we haven't met yet, my name is Scott Steele and I love helping people discover all things Utah, whether that's tourist attractions like the national parks or other things throughout the state. But I also really love helping people relocate and make the move to live in Utah because I think that the lifestyle that Utah offers is second to none. And I absolutely love helping people discover all things Utah, including Utah real estate. So if that's you, please reach out to me and you can find the link to connect with me down in the description below or in the pinned comment on this and every video. So please reach out to me. Let's link up and answer your specific questions. Now, as I mentioned before, Utah is so much more than just what we talked about. In fact, Utah's geography is incredibly diverse. You have so many different regions that you can choose from. There's more desert-like lifestyles if that's what you're looking for. For example, if you want to experience and have that lifestyle, 
that's similar to the Las Vegas market, for example, you might consider living in St. George down in the Red Rocks of Southern Utah, where you have palm trees and year round golfing and it never snows there. So if snow is not your thing and you wanna have that type of lifestyle, St. George might be the very best place for you. You have Zion National Park right in your backyard. Las Vegas is just a quick drive away. And so that is one completely unique type of lifestyle. On the other side of the state, on the east side, we have Moab. Moab's a massive attraction for people that are coming for adventure. They come to visit the other national parks in Canyonlands National Park, as well as Arches National Park, but also to river run the Colorado River or mountain biking. The world-class mountain biking trails on Slick Rock in Moab or the Jeep trails or UTV trails are second to none. There's no better place for adventure in anywhere in the Western United States, in my opinion, than Moab. So Moab is huge. It's just on the other side of the state. And then if you go up north, we have a completely different landscape. We have the West Desert with the Bonneville salt flats that honestly makes you feel like you're on a different planet. We have the Wasatch Front along with the Wasatch Back, where pretty much anywhere that you live along the Wasatch Front, all you have to do is drive one of the many roads that drive up one of these many canyons and instantly within 15 to 20 minutes, you're on the other side of the mountain and you're in the Wasatch Back. And it's a completely different lifestyle where you're elevated about 3000 feet in elevation and your experience of living along the Wasatch Back is completely different than living on the Wasatch Front. So regardless of what you're looking for in terms of lifestyle and climate, there's so many different things to experience here in Utah. And the nice thing is the vast majority of the population that lives in Utah lives right along the Wasatch Front that gets to take advantage of both types of lifestyles, as well as access to Salt Lake City and the airport and everything that the city has to offer. And I wanted to address just a question that I'm constantly asked when people are reaching out to me right here through my YouTube channel. We hop on a video call where we get to know each other and I get to answer their specific questions. And one of the most common questions that pops up is, what is the job market like there? Is remote work a thing there? And of course, in Utah, remote work is huge. So many people, in fact, most of my neighbors where I live, they work remotely, they work from home. And so if you're looking for that type of work lifestyle and that work-life balance, yes, Utah's a phenomenal place to be. But also Utah is incredibly strong in job growth and the number one economy out of every state in the country. And so small business thrives here, larger businesses are thriving here. And the growth that is taking place in many industries here in Utah is contributing to the massive amount of population growth that we're experiencing here in Utah as well. So what are those business sectors that are experiencing the most growth. Most often we talk about the tech scene, we talk about Silicon Slopes, we talk about all these tech companies that are not only moving here, but they're starting up here as well. In fact, one of our local companies that was founded and started here in Utah in Qualtrics was owned by Ryan Smith, who is recently as a 45 year old man, bought his fourth major professional sports team in the new NHL team that's moving to Utah. So if somebody has the dream of starting a tech company here in Utah, there are those that have done it before you and the scene here is thriving. But there are so many other industries that are booming and thriving as well in addition to the tech scene. Healthcare and biohealth is something that's huge here as well, especially here near Salt Lake City. And of course, another industry that's booming is anything related to outdoor recreation. There are many outdoor recreation companies that locate themselves here in Utah so that they can take advantage of this amazing climate and adventurous lifestyle that we have in the Beehive State. And along with those industries, we also have a growing sector in advanced manufacturing, as well as aerospace and defense. The aerospace and defense industry here is huge and it's growing, especially in Northern Utah, just north of Salt Lake City. It's a massive contributor to the economy here in the state of Utah. So in reality, why is Utah's economy thriving so much? Why are companies choosing to move here, grow here and thrive here? Well, number one, it's a business friendly state. Number two, we have a highly educated workforce here in Utah. And another thing that I love about Utah is Utah has the highest rate of bilingual people that aren't speaking their native language. In other words, excluding English or Spanish, if that's your native language, we have more bilingual people here than anywhere. I actually speak Spanish fluently and I speak Portuguese somewhat, and I would love to expand my horizons and learn another language like Italian, for example, but that's another story. I just love that people here are educated and working towards becoming bilingual. And this is just one of those other many factors that really sets Utahns apart. We have a unique culture here that's different than any of the other places that you'll find 
in the United States, in my opinion, and it really truly does continue to contribute to the success of the businesses that choose to do business here. And let's not forget, Utah is grown on the backbone of small business. There are more entrepreneurs and small business owners here than most places. And so if you're looking to start a business or grow your own little business, this is a phenomenal place to be as well. And I think it all boils down for me to quality of life. Why would you want to live here? Why would you want to grow your business here? And why would you wanna to move to Utah in the first place? Well, most people that I ask as to why they're moving to Utah, there are commonly two major responses and it's either a job or it's the outdoors. Those two reasons alone are bringing thousands of people to Utah each and every year. And Utah has been the fastest growing state in the entire country since 2010. And it looks like it's going to continue to be at the top of the list as well. So if you're looking to make the move to Utah and your work or your job is relevant in your decision, please drop a comment down below and let me know what industry or type of business you are in because I would love to see what people are coming here and how these industries are influencing people that are actually making the move. So drop that comment. All right, so what's currently happening in Utah? What are the trends? Most often people think of Utah and they just think suburban areas, which is of course the vast majority of Utah, but it is as well in other states. But one of the things that is a perception of Utah in Salt Lake City is that it doesn't have a strong urban scene and that has completely changed in the last handful of years. In fact, through the pandemic, Utah's residential units downtown in Salt Lake City more than doubled. In other words, Salt Lake City boomed in terms of its downtown residential area more than any other city in the country. Utah is incredibly urban in cities like Salt Lake City. So if that's something you're looking for, there's definitely a lifestyle for you. There's more action and more buzz happening in the city with new restaurants opening every single week in the city. And so if you want that type of lifestyle, an urban lifestyle, it's certainly here, especially in Salt Lake City, as well as some other smaller cities, but really in Salt Lake City. But if you're looking for that more quiet suburban vibe, obviously there's many places like that as well. It's throughout the entire Wasatch Front. Or if you're looking for the lifestyle of living in a mountain town like Park City or Heber or any of the other mountain cities up along the Wasatch Back, there's an incredibly diverse type of lifestyle opportunities when making the move to Utah. And that leads me to the next point that I'd like to make, and that is current market trends in terms of real estate. Real estate in Utah has increased exponentially over the last decade, but really since the pandemic as well. But what we are noticing right now, prices are holding true and steady. And even though interest rates are currently kind of high, at the time of this recording, they're getting up into the mid 7% range. But even with that happening, we're seeing multiple offer scenarios in some places, but we're seeing that the prices are holding steady. We're seeing that real estate is in high demand and we still have people looking to buy and make that move here to Utah. And that is driving a major part of the growth in terms of the real estate market here. My hope is that local and national home builders who are currently building homes in the state of Utah will continue to ramp up production so that we can keep up with this demand because in my opinion, it's not good for the collective society as a whole when real estate prices become unattainable. So depending on where you're moving from, you might find that you'll get more for your money here in Utah, but if you're moving from other places, you might find that it's really expensive here. And that's my goal is to help you dial in exactly what you're looking for and what you can expect based on where you want to live, what you're looking to accomplish and what job or business opportunity are you exploring here so that you can see where you might find the best opportunity and the best fit for you. So if that's you, click that link in the description or in the pinned comment on this video and book a call with me because I can connect with you and answer your specific questions and help guide you along the way. And when I make those calls with people each and every single week, I typically see the same things pop up after people have made the visit to Utah to explore living here. And one of the things that sticks out more than anything is that Utah is incredibly family friendly. You can probably Google this yourself and find out all of these different things that make Utah special in terms of being family friendly and safe. And it is entirely true. It is a completely unique concept to many people that are making the move here that are moving from other places. For example, where I live, I've had many people come in and move next door to me who have thought, you know, they're, they're not gonna feel like they fit in, but inevitably they find their tribe of people and here in Utah, there's something for everybody. There's a particular group of people, no matter what you're into. And so I think that sense of community, not just in one particular community, but in any community is huge here in Utah because we aren't this massive giant city. We're a small city here and we're thriving and we're growing and people that move here absolutely love it because of the sense of community 
and the family friendliness that Utah is uniquely equipped to offer. And if you're looking for things to do with your family or your friends or your significant other, you will never run out of things to do in Utah. There's so many things to do, including the outdoors, but in addition to the outdoors, there's so many other things to do. Utah is quickly also becoming a major sports town. Yes, we have a professional soccer team in Real Salt Lake and a professional NBA basketball team in the Utah Jazz, but we now have a professional hockey team making the move here to Utah as well. So why are they making the move to Utah? If you are a player or a person in the organization that's making the move here to Utah for the hockey team, reach out to me. I would love to connect and help and guide you to make perfect sense of where a perfect home is for you. And I couldn't be more excited about Utah's growth in terms of sports. And I'm hoping that one day we can soon get a major league baseball team here as well. But it also looks like we're almost a lock to get the 2034 Winter Olympics. And if we go back in time to 2002, when we hosted those Winter Olympics. Those Winter Games of 2002 were a massive catalyst that contributed to the growth of Utah. It was kind of like our coming out party, but it was also the first Olympic Games that were held after 9-11. And I remember it vividly because it was a really good moment to bring the country together. I hope that the 2034 Games can do the same because here in Utah, we love that sense of community, we love sports, and we are rabid sports fans here. So. Hopefully that continues to thrive and grow here. But in addition to the outdoors and sports, there are so many other things that are offered here in the state of Utah that you probably won't find in most US cities. And the bottom line is when you're making that move to Utah, you need personalized guidance to make sure that your particular situation, your lifestyle, your goals, your dreams are being realized through where you're trying to live and make sure that you have a guide alongside you that knows the market like the back of their hand. And that is precisely why I create these YouTube videos to make sure that I'm offering the best personalized exceptional service to help you make this move to Utah. And if you yourself are considering making the move to Utah, tell me, drop a comment below and let me know what are your thoughts or doubts or perceptions about what Utah is, what keeps you up at night in terms of the element of the unknown and what is a concern for you? Because it is precisely those comments that help me create better content to better serve you. And as always, I would love to be your real estate resource of choice. So if you're considering making that move to Utah, reach out to me. Or if you work for the NHL team that's now coming here, I would love to connect with you as well to make sure that I can serve this particular group of individuals that are making the move to Utah that I personally am super excited about. But regardless of where you're coming from, you can find links below to connect with me. I would love to create a personalized approach to help you make that move. And if this is the type of content that resonates with you and serves you, hit that subscribe button if I've earned it because I love creating these videos just for you. Or if you're looking to learn more about life in Utah, check out this one. And until the next video, thanks.